and welcome back to Dice Command Dreadnought Wars, War Number 2. We're on conflict number 5 between the Zabono Empire and the Agari Trade League. And in that previous conflict, it is not looking good for the Phonites. Total of 3 losses in the war so far. Not looking good for them. And I don't have any announcements at the moment, so let's just get straight on into the battle. Let's meet the two factions. Our first faction arriving on the battlefield is the Agari Gari Trade League. Alrighty, now the Zabono Empire is entering the battlefield. And there you have it, the two factions ready to square off. The biggest faction and the smallest faction. Round one underway, get to the roll off. And there you have it, Agari Trade League starting off. To see what they can do. And then they have it getting a total of three hits onto the Zabono Empire. Alrighty, moving on to the Zabono Empire's turn. Okay, start for the Zabono Empire, getting four hits onto the Agari Trade League. And let's keep it moving. We're moving on to round two. Just a quick recap of the health points of each of the factions. Zabono at 12 health points and Agari Trade League at 11. Keeping it close for now. Let's head to the roll off. Zabono Empire going first this time around. Here we go. Let's see what they can do. Very good. Only two hits for them. They're gonna need a lot more than that if they want to finish out the Agari Trade League. Alrighty, moving on to the Agari Trade League's turn. Definitely good round for them. They're getting a total of four hits onto the Zabono Empire. Alrighty, that does end round two. We're on to round three. We got the Zabono Empire still with eight health points and the Agari Trade League with nine health points. So it's still neck and neck between the factions. Here we go though, the roll off. And it is the Zabono Empire going first this time around. Let's see if they can get a better roll than that last one. about you but that is definitely a better roll they're getting a total of eight hits onto the agari trade league what a round huge devastation for the agari trade league and we're on to the agari trade league's turn and they're hanging on by a fingernail can they get that special off to get some health points back they really need it They are not getting it, but they're, they're still getting some hits in. Two hits for the Agari Trade League onto the Zabono Empire. Alrighty, that does end round three. We're moving on to round four. And I just cannot say it enough, but the Zabono Empire, very dangerous faction. You just saw what they did. Almost took the Agari Trade League out. The Agari Trade League's down to one health point. And the Zabono still has six health points. So the Zabono are guaranteed not to get wiped out this round. But the Agari Trade League can definitely get knocked out. It's going to be really hard to see if they can survive this. Here we go with the roll off. They do get to go first, but I don't think it matters. They really need to get that bonus, but even with that bonus, it's still an uphill battle for them to survive. Here we go. And they pull it off. They get the five hits. 
So it does mean they're getting two health points back onto their Dreadnought. Alrighty, on to the Zabono Empire's turn. Could this change the fate of this conflict? They got two health points. Will it be the difference though? Here we go. And no, it definitely was not. But it was a good attempt on their part. The Zabono are just going off today in this conflict. In a total of six hits onto the Agari Trade League. And there you have it. What a match though. Agari Trade League hang, hung on, but the Sabono Empire's firepower is just too great. Getting eight hits in one round is just insane. There you have it, our winner of this conflict, the Sabono Empire. This is looking really good for the Zabono Empire. Back-to-back -back wins for them. This is going to put them way ahead of the competition. They're definitely looking like the favorites to win this war. But again, this war has long to go. Many more conflicts ahead. But it's looking good for them for now. And thanks again for tuning in. Stay tuned. We got conflict number six up next. And bye for now.